Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com and welcome into now day 7 of the 31 Day Safer Pilot Challenge. Congratulations on making it through the first week. I really enjoy reading uh, all your comments and seeing your uh, tweets and Facebook posts. I really appreciate it a ton. Um, in today's, uh, today's lesson, what we're going to talk about is something we've actually had this conversation before. I know uh, I've had it with you guys. I know I've had it a few times with my online ground school members. And that is FAR 91103, Required Pre-Flight Actions. There are certain things before each and every flight you must do, most importantly, uh, so you're a safe pilot, but also to cover your butt if something were to happen. So uh, without further ado guys, let's go ahead and cut to this clip. And this is one of those two you're going to want to take some notes on. So make sure you, see you have some pen and paper. Um, and when you get done, leave me a comment below this video uh, on saferpilotchallenge.com with what you guys thought. So again, I've talked about this before, required pre-flight action found in FAR 91103, which basically says, each pilot in command shall before beginning a flight become familiar with all available information concerning that flight. What they're talking about, what they're looking for are things like notums, and this is a big one, and again, I. I I know I've done this before. I told you the story about the gentleman who busted the TFR because he didn't check the notums and his certificate was suspended for 240 days. You know, you can't afford for that to be you guys. That's something, regardless of what they say, stays on your record forever. So that's something you need to always be checking. I'll show you how to do that here in just a second. Notums, uh, runway lengths, takeoff and landing distances, weather reports, fuel requirements, and alternate airports. Now. What is the absolute easiest way to knock out most of these? Well, how you can get this info is call your local flight service station. Use Duots or really any mobile app that records your data, and I'll explain what, I'm, what I mean here. Um, call the flight service station. I typically do this when I am driving out to the airport. I have about a 20 minute drive out to the airport, so that's when I call them up, regardless of whether it's a beautiful day or not, just so I'm on the record. When I call that flight service station, say, hey, this is Jason Shepard in 512 Romeo, that data gets saved. So if they were to give me a report that says, hey, there are absolutely no notums, everything's great, and all of a sudden at the last second, say, a, uh, a presidential TFR just pops up out of nowhere, and, and these sort of things happen. You know, the president has to move somewhere quick, um, there's not a lot of notice given, and I go through and I bust that TFR. I can fall back and say, listen, when I called 30 minutes before my flight and I'm on record talking with a gentleman at the flight service station, there were no notums or TFRs that he made me aware of. So I've got something to fall back on. Also, you can use Duots. Duots, you can do it online. I've done this as well. That counts, too, as getting a legal briefing. Uh, I believe Duot stores your data for up to 15 days if something were to happen. Uh, and also any mobile app that records your data. A lot of these apps um, simply just use Duots to file their flight plans and to pull that data from it. So believe it or not, you're using Duots whether you know it or not. But do check with that mobile app um, um, beforehand to make sure that it would record your data if you were to get into a pickle like that. Uh, most of the stuff for iPad and iPhone does all that for you. Um, so that's how you can get this info. The main emphasis on this is simply covering your butt. Um, there, is, there is no excuse for not being able to, uh, to um, you know, check that data before you go flying. So that's all I've got for you guys today. I'll talk with you more tomorrow. Tomorrow, I'm actually jumping back in the cockpit and showing you some really cool in-flight footage. Uh, so I'll talk with you guys uh, more tomorrow. So most importantly, remember, a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.